All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. So the Pixel 4a 5G uh, and the Pixel 4a are devices that Google offer, but the 4a is actually their smallest device and screen size right now in their latest lineup coming in at 5.8 inches. And believe it or not, that's considered small by today's standards. Uh, but I think this device is still very relevant even in 2021 heading into 2022, which is why it is still for sale on Google's website. I have a link down below, or you just go to store.google.com and you can grab this device right here for the latest pricing. I believe it's sold on Google Fi as well, so check a look out for that too. Nonetheless, the, the, the 4A is very capable. Now, while it, it, you know, this has six gigs of RAM, six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs, 100, Google has matched these up fairly. Uh, this one just happened to be a hundred dollars less than the latest device that they offer, which is the 5A. Now, these devices look very similar, but you'll just see one has a uh, telephoto lens and that's it. That's, that's two cameras over here and then one camera over here. They both have the same design, the fingerprint reader on the back, uh, the same beautiful style that Google offers. They both have stereo speakers. Uh, they both are, you know, fairly small overall in size, but, you know, for a big phone, this is a small, big phone, I would say, uh, but they both have a headphone jack. They both have stereo speakers. They both pretty much look the same, uh, but, you know, the difference really is just battery and screen size to me uh, because performance for day-to-day -day tasks shouldn't be too much different. Uh, they're They're running different processors, but at the same time, uh, they're still going to do fairly well overall when it comes to the daily tasks that you need to get you through your day. Uh, so these are, on, I think these are, on, yeah, on the same account. Uh, so they both loaded up. They 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 just handled themselves very well. You shouldn't see too much difference in speed. These are going to be perfectly fine. So um, I do have these running on different networks. So this is my Google Fi line over here right now, and this is my Verizon account. So, but nonetheless, network is gonna depend on whatever. So screen quality and everything on these. Um, let's load up a video real quick on both of these. Now I've got the displays running um, uh, the same video here. Almost synced a little bit. I did okay video, okay syncing them. Now on video here, you're gonna say, oh, well, they look so much different. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna see that through the naked eye, when I look at these, they look the same. The screen on the 4A is a little brighter, if anything, uh, but the quality of the video is actually really solid. And it's, it's pretty much the same. The tones seem a little dark over here, but let me check the brightness. Brightness is just over half over here and the brightness is up a little higher. So if I kind of match out that that brightness there on this to about where the, the 5A is, I think these pretty much look identical. They're, they both show this video really clear. You won't have a problem when it comes to footage being played and watching video. They both have that little camera at the bottom down there. Uh, but overall, I mean, look at this quality of this video. You're just getting a slightly bigger screen. I think it's beautiful. Uh, as far as speaker volume goes, let's check. Are way too good to get the inconsistencies that they have, just depending on lighting. And I say that because some they both have stereo speakers. They're able to adjust and get the same type of footage. So I'm brewing a cup of coffee. You might be able to hear it back there. I don't know if you can, but. They're both great for, for watching content, man. You will not have an issue with the way these look and produce colors, everything. Look at how vibrant and punchy these are. It's beautiful. So screen quality, speakers, performance, that's all the same in my opinion, just about, I mean, with the 5A, you know, obviously the 5A might appear to run snappier at times, but to me, I just think these are both running really fast. And this video isn't to prove that one is faster than the other, but I just feel like you really gotta give this a chance. If you, if you wanna save some money, you've got options with Google. So now let's take, it something that probably, take a look at something that probably is different, which is the cameras.
All right. So now that that is done, what do you say about that? How about those cameras? And that's just the point I was trying to make. These devices are both great options from Google. And I think if you're one of those people that like you might see a lot of techies out there and enthusiasts saying, oh, you got to get the Pixel 6, you got to get Pixel 6 Pro, uh, forget the other devices. I say no. <laughs> I'm always trying to look out for you. And um, people, the people that are looking to get a good deal and, and you want a Pixel device in particular. Yes, you can go with some previous generation devices like the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL, 3 XL, 4 XL, 4. You can go with those. I'm not telling you not to. But this video is about these two particular devices right here. This was this is when Google stepped over and said, we're going to make it right. <laughs> and they brought out the Pixel 4a. I mean, this was good. I mean, the 3a was great and the 3a XL were both great. But this is when they decided, you know what? We're going to do you right all the way. We're going to give all we're gonna give you six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. We're going to give you great processing power, a beautiful screen, lots of storage, just everything. We're just going to give it to you. Six gigs of RAM. We're going to give it to you and make sure that you don't have pretty much anything to complain about. Stereo speakers beautiful screen. It's it's there. If you don't want to spend a lot of money and you're still on the fence and you know, you, you're you not even sure if you want to buy the 5A, the 4A is still an option, folks. It is not off the table just because we're heading into 2022 and we're ending or closing out 2021. I know the Pixel 6 is coming. I can't wait to talk about it with you. I think it's going to be great. But I still say for, there are people out there that don't want to spend a lot of money and the Pixel 4a is still a beast. I mean, did you see the difference in the camera? Was there much difference? Yes, there's some difference. But was there a lot of difference? And I, I wasn't even going to label the cameras, but I thought, you know what? I won't do that to them. I'll go ahead and label these cameras so they'll know which is which. But the fact of the matter is both of them have great stabilization. Now, advantage obviously goes to the 5A because you have an uh, a, a ultra wide lens on here. You know, this this 4A only has one camera. This camera right here has multiple options. You, you, you can go two times zoom in. You can go ultra wide 0.6 out. You know, you've got some some options there. So uh, when you open the camera up on on the 4A, all you get is the two times zoom. And obviously they both have digital zoom, but you know, you don't get any kind of ultra wide or anything like that. So, you know, that, that remains to be seen. And another thing is before I get out of here on the cameras, you have a steady shot uh, for video on both, but you have more options on the five a remember, this is their latest device right here. And this one came out a while back. So you do have that cinematic pan and standard, but on the five a you have locked active, which is like super smooth. Then you also have the uh, cinematic pan. So, you know, if you're still on the fence and trying to decide, these devices are so close. I mean, they are close and I'm telling you both are worth it. So if you're a consumer out there and you're still on the fence about what to buy, I don't know what to get. I just I'm I, I'm worried about buying the Pixel 6. Should I buy the 5A? The 4A is too old. No, it's not. It is stock Android. It has the October security patch and it's going to continue to get updates for quite some time. I'm sure Android 12 is available for this device. It's going to get all the updates you could possibly want. If you're looking for a good experience and you're looking for Google with top notch cameras, I didn't even do a lot of portrait shots. I think I just did one on the front facing camera, but we all know that the, this, this phone right here, the 4A has fantastic cameras for still shots and portraits, and so does the 5A. So I wanted to put up a quick video for you guys. I don't know if it was quick or not, but I wanted to put up a video for you guys letting you know the 4A is still a beast and it is totally worth it in 2021 going into 2022. So don't worry about the people out there telling you, oh, you gotta get the Pixel 6, you gotta get Pixel 6 Pro. You get that if you want to, but if you have something for someone else you want, or you just don't wanna spend a lot of money on your child or your mom, yourself, your husband, your wife, whatever, you have got two great options right here. So it's your man Jay. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.